Hi, I'm Andrew with Spark Welders. I'm gonna show you some of the amazing features on our dual argon flow meter. Um, it has a zero to 4,000 PSI bottle pressure gauge. It's a single scale, so it's PSI only. There's no metric scales. It prints a lot larger, so it's easier to read the gauge. It obviously has two outputs, so you can either run two separate welders off of one bottle, or you can run your weld off of one um, connection, and you can run a back purge off of the other. Both flow tubes have a zero to 60 SCFH flow reading, and um, obviously independent adjustments for each side. On the back, of course, we just have a standard CGA 580 bottle connection that goes to any standard uh, argon gas bottle. So now I've run through the features of this flow meter, I'm gonna show you how to install it and how to use it. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hook it up to your bottle. You're gonna go ahead and get it finger tight here. And then we're gonna take our crescent wrench and we're gonna tighten it up. From there, we're gonna make sure both the flow control knobs are turned all the way off before we turn our bottle on. Once we've checked that, and you can see right away the pressure gauge jumps to a little over 2,000 PSI, so we've got a nice full bottle. From there, we have a few different adapter fittings for different style connections. The first one is this, which allows you to hook up any standard 5.8 flare, standard on almost every welder made today. Um, we also sell these hoses in 12 and 20 foot. You take this hose, thread it into the output, and again here, we're just gonna go finger tight, nice and snug, before putting our wrench on it. Tighten this up. Make sure you don't use any thread tape or sealant on either these connections or the CGA 580 bottle connection. Um, thread tape and thread seal will actually make it leak. These are flare seals, so they just need to be a little tighter if you're still having any leaking issues. Once you have this hooked up, you're gonna go ahead and crack the valve open and set the flow rate to where you want it. You want the ball to be right in the middle of the line for the most accurate flow reading. Once you're done for the day welding, go ahead and shut your bottle off. And if you want, totally optional, you can crack this valve again to release any residual pressure that's left in the regulator for long-term storage. So if you don't have a pre-crimped argon hose, um, you wanna use like a standard rubber hose that you've got lying around. We also include this hose barb adapter. It threads into the same fitting here. I'm gonna take this, put this together, and then thread it onto the regulator. And again, take our crescent wrench. And then from there, you just take your rubber hose, slide it on and secure it with the hose clamp. So that covers the basic features of our dual argon flow meter. The regulator is covered by a two-year warranty, so if you have any problems, questions, concerns, we're always available to help out. And we have replacement parts and replacement regulators on the shelf ready to go for you.